I am planning to walk across the Australian desert from Alice Springs to the Indian Ocean, a distance of 2,000 miles. When people ask me why I'm doing it, my usual answer is why not. I could completely understand the desire to kind of remove yourself from the more conventional society and, and put yourself in an environment where you took things back to the basics of survival, like just putting one foot in front of the other and attending to your needs in the moment, like very simple needs like eating and having drinking water and finding shelter. It seemed like a very understandably desirable thing. You want to die out there or something? And smile? Great. Are we done? Particularly now, just by being, by virtue of being so kind of connected, we are, yeah, it's, you know, hard to be more present with so many sort of distractions and things like that. And I suppose a similar thing, well, I'm going to suggest it's a similar yeah. thing, is that we've also lost touch with an idea of, of wilderness, yeah. of being in a physical space where nothing happens or is cultivated. Right, yeah, for sure. And I think also similarly, we sort of are unaware how our surround... We are kind of like slightly more oblivious to how our surroundings kind of impact us. Hey, do you even know what you're doing? <laughs> I wouldn't use a nose line. <laughs> Get out of there! Shut the gate! How you doing? What are camels like to work with? Great, they're lovely. I mean, they're a very obliging film animal. They just sort of do what they're told and... and um, do they not spit at you or chew you? No, I had no spitting on at all. I was expecting it, but no, it didn't happen. 